do a seven nineteen and this is like Namazuru. 
omuntu nga ajja yagala eddagala taata omaze banga chimwe tundi eddagala lyebiri mwaka gumune ekitundu Mm. Kati mwe mumara biso tinga ku company cha wabuddam. Eh, just mukendeza ako ebinaba mwe bichamu. Naye ala kabulunji. Kalimbo en koko. Kablonji, <laughs> 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 Mumani Kachi came in no good yam. Kachia Kavi Kachia Kalun. I won't go, Gamma Mugumazi. Hm. 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 Baba, I'm telling you about my way. Hey, I could tell you.
Anko movie. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now you Hey, Or any vegetable, 
you find that there is no aeration and therefore there will be dumping, there will be rotting of the roots and so forth. So there are so many diseases that are that arise as a result of the nature of soil. So it is very important to ensure that the nature of the soil are the right soil. And in this case, they should be the long, well aerated soil and they should be fertile soil. And then um, the net of the scape land, at least it should be a flat kind of land, it's very important. Of course even if you're cultivating, it's not easy to cultivate on a raised land. And then you should not put in the swamp soil. Uh, you find that the swamp soil uh, have water constantly, though uh, in the dry season the water might dry, but during rain season, then that the swamp areas will always be waterlogged and this the vegetables are more so what we are talking about that is pepper growing or chili growing they do not like the, a lot of water there are so many things that are, are associated with uh, swamp areas that is as far as I'm concerned 